Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I manage my research project. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'm a PhD student doing cancer research at the University of Oxford and I talk about uh, personal statements and Oxford admissions and interviews and being a researcher and sharing lots of cool tips and um, tools on how to manage your research project. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, then please do subscribe. So today what I'm gonna show you is a really cool app that I discovered recently, and it's great for managing research projects for four main reasons. Uh, number one, you can actually create dependent tasks, um, and therefore you have a more connected list of tasks. The reason that's really important for research is that you can then have a better idea on which task is actually delaying the whole project and how much of an impact it's having on the final end date of the project. So I think one of my main issues with task management has been that a lot of times so many tasks depend on other tasks. So I will look at my task list and I'll say, why haven't I done this yet? And when I start doing it, then I remember, oh, I can't do this because I don't know this or I'm waiting on this. And so you can actually trace it back to the first task that needs to be done before you can do all these other tasks, which are called dependent tasks. The other reason this is really great is that you can see, for example, if I've got one task that is taking much longer than expected, and it will automatically push all these other tasks forward so I will very easily be able to see how much delaying one task is impacting my final end uh, date because of how much it's delaying each downstream task. And so that's really easy. It gives you a lot of flexibility as well when you're planning. It also really helps me beat procrastination because then I can see how delaying individual tasks is impacting the final end date. And the fourth really great thing about this is that it is great for people who like a bit more flexibility over their calendars. For example, I don't like scheduling tasks into my daily calendar because I want more flexibility on what I do in a day. And so um, using this app, I can actually look at everything that I could possibly do today. And then I can choose any of those tasks and I can also then see how much doing something earlier or later will impact the final end date and the rest of the project downstream. So these are the ways that this app has really, really helped me manage my research. So I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how you can create these task dependencies and set up this project management system. It's really simple, easy to use, it's free. Um, and so it's really great for any researcher out there who's really struggling to stay on top of their multiple projects. Let me show you my project. So I'm using the free version. This is my PhD project. So I'll just show you how I create the Gantt chart. So the really cool thing is that um, you can get one project with the free version and I've basically, there is a lot of potential of making groups and subgroups within those groups. So I have three groups, chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three, PhD results chapters. And so for the first one, I've basically done it, but what I'm trying to do is finalize the manuscript. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new group below and I'll call it uh, manuscript finalizing and then within that you can add lots of tasks so the first task I need to do is um, for example email Alessandro and wait for his reply on choosing the right model then what I need to do is fixing figures on PCA plots now what I want to show you is, for example, over here I want to do this and I've, I'm waiting for his reply, so let's say it takes him about four days to get back to me. Um, meanwhile, I can also fix the figures on the PCA plots, but now the problem is I have to wait for his reply before I can do this because I don't know which figures I need to then eventually put in. Therefore, I link this task with this task and now it's showing me a red line, which is telling me, hey, you can't actually do this task until you've done this task. So I can move this over here and then say I need to add um, supplementary table one. I can 
do this anytime from now. So this task is independent of these two tasks. However, my final task, which is to submit the paper, for example, and complete the draft, um, that can't be done until I fix the figures. And it also can't be done until I add the supplementary table one. And so that means that this can't actually be done until here. And now what happens is the, the really cool thing about this app, which makes time management and planning your project and seeing deadlines so, so clearly and easily is that, for example, Alessandro takes time to get back to me and he doesn't get back to me within two weeks. Do you see how this end result is actually being pushed forward? Because I can't actually then submit the paper until the 17th. Now, say he gets back to me quicker, um, then I can actually submit this sooner. Say I fix the figures really quickly, I can actually move this back. You see, if I do any of these tasks earlier, then this will move back, uh, assuming that there's no other task which is keeping it from being submitted. So this is like really, really cool and extremely powerful and I'm having so much fun. Uh, this is what I've made for the whole uh, thing. Um, so I, you can also change colors. So over here, for example, I need to also write an abstract uh, for the paper and this I'm you know not waiting for anybody to do. Therefore, it's an independent task and I've changed the task color to yellow because this reminds me that um, I can do this task anywhere from between now to about this point. And the reason I set this point is because I want the draft complete on the 9th of May. And so I've actually added a milestone. So over here, you can see that you can either add task or milestone or a group of tasks. It gives you so much, so much control. So for example, now what I actually need to do is I then cannot submit the task. So for example, I cannot um, email the editors or submit the manuscript until I have the abstract as well. Therefore, I'm going to link this to emailing the editors as well. And I can also link this to submitting the manuscript. So you can have multiple things coming in. So for example, now I need to know, okay, what do I need to do before I can email the editors? So it shows all these, it highlights all the paths and all the dependent tasks. So I can see that I need to write a cover letter. I need to pick a journal before I can email the editors. I need to send this to our collaborators and get their comments. Um, I also need to, you know, finish up all of this stuff and I can link all the milestone, uh, milestones to these tasks as well. So all of these tasks need to be done. Now, if you want to remove a dependency, for example, I don't know why this positive predictive value is linked to here. Oh, because I wanted to link this one. Sorry, Ooh, I linked the wrong one. You can basically click on it and it gives you click below to d delete dependency. So I want to delete this one and I want to delete this one. What I actually wanted to do was link this one to emailing the editors and um, submitting the manuscript. So you see all of these dependent tasks. And now uh, over here, I can pick a journal anywhere from between now to you know May, but for example, so it also gives you a bit of, of leeway because I don't like putting in tasks into my daily calendar. I want a bit more flexibility over what I choose to do in my day because I want to be fully motivated and I want to be enjoying the tasks that I do. Therefore, I pick the task based you know, on how I'm feeling on the day and what I actually want to do. Therefore, I'm not going to say, you know, pick a journal and I will not put it in one particular day, but I will have an end date for this. And what I'm able to see now with this is that I have to kind of, you know, if I don't uh, write a cover letter and I keep extending this, it actually keeps pushing forward my submission of the manuscript so every day that i procrastinate on this task um it reminds me that you know this is what's happening the other thing is i can also link it to for example 
over here I know that this task is directly linked to the next one. So for example, if they take longer, then I can take longer to write my manuscript without actually pushing my end date back. Whereas if they get to me really soon, then this is going to end up being the blockage and I'm the one doing this. So I need to actually do this quicker so that we can push this back. And this task is also something I need to do. So I need to put, pull it back and do it quicker um, because that is now what is called a limiting factor, you know, kind of like we have in chemistry equations where you've got a limiting factor and that's what's actually causing the little difficulty um, and yeah so that's essentially what I've been doing and you can make really really complicated uh, things you know um, and then you can also mark as complete these are other things you know that you can obviously explore you can also write in the progress if this is 50% done it actually fills it in like that like a bar you know so this is totally up to you and uh, this is so amazing and then when it's done you can mark it as done over here um sorry no i'm just getting used to this as well okay so there's no actual done thing you just write 100 percent, and it's all done and then you can also hide completed tasks so um you know that way it's gonna hide that other completed task so it's really really exciting you don't need to get the um, premium version um, you can just go with the trial version and so i'm actually filling in you know, my chapter two, chapter three, this way I can see which tasks really, really need to be done as soon as possible. So yeah, essentially this is how I'm planning out my chapters now. Obviously I can't show you those details because it is uh, confidential, it is research I am yet to do, um, therefore I can't share that with you, but I hope that this was really, really useful and um, go give it a try, it's teamgant.com. So yeah, make Gantt chart work for you. So if you enjoyed this video, please do like and do subscribe to the channel because I've got lots more coming up. See you, bye.